Sometimes a child's progress at the Child Development Center can be amazing. And when the CDC helps the child, they know the family is an important part of the team. So Heather wears these braces on her feet for a couple of reasons. One is to make sure that she doesn't get too tight and ends up walking up on her toes when she doesn't have to. And the other reason is to give her a little bit more stability in her feet. She actually has really good range right now. Yeah, basically everybody at OSNS has just been wonderful for us. Um, even down to, to Birgit who made her braces for us and fixes them up for her whenever she grows out of the other ones, that kind of thing. The McDonald family moved to Summerland a year ago and quickly connected with the Child Development Center to continue with Heather's therapy program. She has cerebral palsy, which means that the muscles of her body are affected. Um, they don't do what she wants them to do, essentially. Um, she's pretty bright, though. I mean, sometimes kids with CP can be intellectually um, delayed, and I think she's slightly delayed, but she's shown us such potential this year that we're, you know, we have nothing but high hopes for her in the future. Um, she's come a long way in her mobility. She was crawling flat on her belly when I first met her a year ago, and now she can crawl on all fours on the floor. She can pull up to stand. She can move herself around in her walker. We've trialed a power wheelchair for her, and she's got one on order that should be here soon, and she can manage that by herself. She needs some practice with steering, but she got the idea right away when we tried them out. So um, she has a lot way to go and she's 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 getting there fast okay. Okay. special in. equipment is key to okay. Heather's development this walker is adjustable to match her growth and progress Heather needed something that would give her some support in her forearms and so that's why we went with the walker that she's using now she didn't do well when she only held on with her hands and so we have started with the forearm um, walker that gives her a little bit of support um, she also has a little seat that she can sit down on when she gets tired the goal is to take away the seat the walker is flexible enough to take that away if we want it gone and it also we can also take the forearm um, prompts away if we need to and so in the future I see her walking um, maybe with a walker in the next couple years but without the seat and without the forearm prompts you could just hold on to it and walk um, and that's our goal certainly when she gets to kindergarten next year. She has a, a trip trap chair that we got through funding from the Sunshine Fund. I helped the family um, apply for funding for that and it works really well to keep her at, at the same level as her family at the dining room table and she can participate with them in meal times without having a chair that looks like something that is really necessary for a child with lots of disabilities. It works very well for her. Four-year-old Heather has progressed in a number of important areas. Pretty much everything. Her speech, um, her upper body strength, um, all of that's improved, I think, obviously, through her the services that we have and, you know, the people she deals with, uh, her sister. <laughs> a supportive family is essential, and big sister Nicole is a great role model to look up to. Yeah, absolutely. Nicole, uh, is, she's seven, and... She really understands what's going on with Heather. Um, you know, probably probably when we moved here, she really didn't have a full understanding of it. But now that she's seven, she's really, really starting to understand what what Heather needs and what kind of support she needs. So I mean, she's just been an amazing bit of help because. She, Heather really idolizes Nicole. I think family is the biggest part of the whole team, actually. If we didn't have them doing everything that we suggested, then the children wouldn't make the progress that they do. Heather, especially, her family has huge, huge support behind her all the time. They, they, they insist that she do things independently. They follow through with suggestions that we make. They're enthusiastic about anything that we suggest. It's just been a joy to work with them. Basically, they have a knack of saying the right things if Lorraine and I are a little bit discouraged about her progress or lack thereof. Um, you know, one phone call to Kathy and we really, you know, feel good again about her progress and, and Heather's progress and where she's going to be ending up. So it's just been an invaluable service that I could never even begin to put a, a value, value on. She's just flying along. Last year she could, could only say mom and dad and now she can carry on a pretty good conversation and, you know, and just, just her mobility, even crawling on the floor is quicker, pulling herself to stand on the furniture is, is improving. Yep, she's really, really, really progressed even more than we'd ever imagined right now. So and we just expect more and more from her every day. We have every hope that she is going to be able to walk somewhere in the future, whether that's with an assisted walker. Um, our, our big goal is for Heather to walk down the aisle one day to, to, when she gets married and you know we're doing everything that we can to uh, to help her achieve that goal and I think she can do anything she wants. Good walking.